Welcome to another customizing My Little Pony figurine video. Hey Greens, and also welcome to my new background. It's taken me eight days to redo the entire craft room. It's still a work in progress, so expect the background to change a little bit. A lot. A little bit a lot. Last time we customized two My Little Pony figurines and turned them into absolute Creatures of Darkness dolls. I won't give away too much with the final result, but if you are interested, I'll leave a link down below for the video, so make sure you watch that as well. Today we're going to be customizing Applejack, but it's going to have a bit of a twist. We're going to be using as many items as possible from this mystery box. Which is a good time to tell you grains. Today's video is sponsored by Sophie and Toffee. For those of you who don't know, I've been working with Sophie and Toffee for almost six years now. And this is the first time we are officially sponsored together. So, you know I love them so much. What you see right here is their new collection of officially licensed Disney craft kits. Yes, you heard, officially licensed. It's none of that fake stuff. The items on the inside are valued at over $80 US and you pay half the price for the subscription box. This is a quarterly box, which means it ships four times a year. It's not an every month kind of thing. And if you grains are interested to get your own box, there's only four days left. Use the code NERDY3 for $3 off your first box. And if you're curious what the next theme is, it's going to be Tsum Tsum, those cute little chubby looking things. Signups for that box begin in September and be careful, they might sell out quickly. And if you want to test out the waters with other kinds of crafts, there's also a 15% coupon store-wide. And the coupon code for that is NERDYCRAFTER15. Thank you Sophie and Toffee for sponsoring this video. Before we begin customizing our little pony, let's find out what's in the Cinderella mystery box. And just to be clear, this box is amazing for those of you who are especially into resin crafting. Alright! Ooh. So first impression is that we get a little My Cinderella in the background and we have a little sticker holding the little sheet together. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't make me do it. While you're there, click on all notifications. Part of me is really hoping that we do get some kind of metal inclusions because I have hopes here for Applejack. Also, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite pony. Of course I'm going to tear it this way. We have the card. Do I need to read it? Nah. Oh my god, is that glitter? I love glitter. Alright, I'm going to take everything out and then let's look at each piece individually. And much like the previous box, we have the first set that greets us are full of glitters and mica powders and findings. We got mica powders in yellow, white, bronze, pink, and blue. I quite love this blue. And equally, we get five containers of glitter that are iridescent. And then purple and hollow stars. Wait, are these hollow stars? Yes. And then we get chains, clasps, and keychains, as well as pins. I can already see using this blue here to give Applejack a really cool makeover. But we'll see. And also, don't forget, we can still see that it is licensed Disney. That stuff is so expensive to license. So I'm pretty impressed that Sophie and Toffee is able to work with Disney. Next we have a bottle of LED resin, UV resin, and epoxy resin. Let's take a moment to appreciate the fact that the labels are also made into the theme, which kind of immerses us better as creators. As a crafter, I definitely appreciate small details. For those of you who don't know what resin is, resin is a liquid that when it hardens, it becomes kind of like a glassy plastic. The difference between the two is that UV resin can harden in sunlight or with a flashlight that is UV compatible and epoxy resin only hardens if you put part A and part B together and then it just takes about six to eight hours to harden whereas the other ones take about half an hour max. Next we have clay inserts that are perfect for shaker charms. Shaker charms are basically keychains or charms that you can put on your bags that the inside actually moves. And of course you can't make shaker charm without shaker oil. And now Metal pieces. I really wanted that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, look, grains. Two of the metal pieces in there are keys that could look like amazing wands. And since Applejack's mouth is actually open on this figurine, I feel like we could probably put one of these in her mouth. This is exciting. We also get in the form of Cinderella a silhouette insignia. I think that's what it's called. Insignia. 
I don't know, the pumpkin cart, and another silhouette in addition to the two keys. We also get metal charms, and yes, each one of them is Disney licensed. Look at that right in the back. So I can only imagine buying this at Disney. It would be uh, pretty pricey. A set of rainbow film that looks really cute, perfect for inserts in your resin. And my favorite part, silicone molds. I love silicone molds so much, so much. What do you want my back? Oh, there it is. The first mold is that of the shoes. And if we look closely, there are cute little trinkets of one of the mice, a little bird, a button, another one of the mice, a clock, a wand, and a bird. That's a cute little wand. Oh, did I call it a shoe? So for those of you who want to say, But Jake, you're saying it wrong. It's not a shoe. It's a slipper. I know. It's a glass slipper. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't at me. Actually, you want to fight me? Come here. Come here and fight me. Actually, don't. I'm very fragile. Don't hurt me. <laughs> the next mold we have is that of two types of dresses and a silhouette. The other thing that has me excited, perhaps that we can use on our pony, is a headband. So I really hope we can use that. If we look at the Instagram of Sophie and Toffee, it seems like you can just make a cute little doll that you can dress up with different kinds of dresses, and it could easily be turned into a pin, a magnet, or anything that you want. And then there's this. I'm not quite sure what this is, so it's like a stack of molds. Well, that's, that's quite a bit of packaging. How do we do this? What? Okay, I think I understand how to do this batch of molds. It seems like for the first time we're actually getting a puzzle type mold in which each piece is individually done and then we put it together to create the carriage. That looks awesome. So I think I'm definitely going to be doing the carriage so that it can be a companion with our pony. And we do have the instructions over here. I really want to try doing a face up. However, I am really intimidated. So if we can get this video, let's say 30,000 likes, I will face that fear just for you grains. And I know I will buy acetone. Many of you were pretty upset that I didn't use acetone 100%. I'll do that. So if you want to see a face up, have faith in me that I will mess up. Let's get to 30,000 likes. All right, with that set, let's do the doing. Here is Applejack. She looks pretty adorable. I love her pose. The way she's standing where she has kind of like a walking, strutting type pose, that is just very cute. But I do have a question regarding her hair. Why is her hair looking like this? It's looking very oily, very gross, very gross and flat. Kind of like my hair, but at least I have a hat to cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, this hair does not look as luscious as the previous one. So let's go ahead and brush the hair to, to get it a little more tame. You can tell I'm not very good at brushing hair. So we're just, oh my God, come on. I didn't think a pony's hair would be this difficult to brush, but what you gonna do? <gasps> Applejack, I didn't mean it. I didn't want to tear your hair. I didn't want you to lose more hair because obviously you're like me and it's already pretty I'm sorry if I break out your heart. Don't be sad, Applejack. As with all items that we can't put in the oven, we're going to be using epoxy sculpt. Epoxy sculpt is a material that when combined together and hardens, it really turns as hard as a rock. So it's really air dry, but you have to give it anywhere between six and eight hours to harden. I do recommend wearing a glove in order to mix it and set it aside for about 10 minutes to work with it. Remember this here, look at me. You're working against time. You don't have much in order to sculpt. Maximum one hour, so you have to work quickly. And so similarly to the My Little Pony customization that I did, I'm going to go ahead and braid the hair and the tail just so that they're kind of out of the way and I don't have to ruin them. <laughs> Well, hello there. Peace. <laughs> and I think I want to keep Applejack as Applejack, simply because I feel like the blonde hair and the orange tone would work perfectly with the blue dress. I struggled between wanting to make her into the fairy godmother or Cinderella. But since I had a hooded pony last time, I wanted to try a different route and do a, a dress. 
I guess that's different, but let's just try it. Anytime you're using a epoxy clay, it does get crumbly and cracky very easily. I highly recommend taking just a little tiny bit of water and smoothing as much as possible. Otherwise, you're going to have fingerprints and cracks a little bit of everywhere. It is a picky medium. I feel like she needs a v-neck. So we're gonna point this a little lower. All right there, excuse me, pony. I just need to see where your tail is. I am so excused. There we go. <laughs> Don't let anyone fool you. Putting a dress together is not an easy feat, especially with clay. I feel like if I knew patterns, maybe I could be a little smarter with this, but you grains know me. Make sure you do your research and don't be a Jackie. Now, once I got the back part of the dress in, ex including the tail, I didn't like the fact that the actual clay was just drooping. I needed it to be fluffier. And so, of course, I put aluminum foil right under where it would go just to keep the shape while it hardens. Have you ever seen a blade so jaggedy and so full of, of curves? Now I thought that's what I wanted, but obviously when I cut into it, it just looks like she has knives for a dress, which makes her pretty good at self-defense, but I don't think that's the look we're going for. So, time to go in manually. That's what he... The next thing I needed to do was those, the, the, the bum, I guess they're, they're like bum augmentations back in the day, just make your bum derriere a little more poofy. And that's where more foil paper and more pieces of the epoxy clay, but in sweekles, came in pretty handy. I don't know why I need to put poofy things on a horse's derriere because horses have some very nice bumps because they run so much. Similarly to the bum poof, we gave her the shoulder poofs. At first I did this weird shape, but then I decided, you know what, we don't need to wrap it around, we just need to put it on her shoulders. I gave it a little texture. Technically what we're doing now is we're giving her front hoof gloves. The glass slippers would be in the back, but we don't really see the legs, so I'm kind of getting away with it. Let's pretend she's wearing glass slippers. By the way, as I'm crafting, I'm hearing screeching on the other side of the room, and it's Burp, right? Uh-huh. Because he said he wants attention, uh -huh. and if I don't give him attention, he's gonna rip my hat off, right? Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> don't do it. Oh! Why'd you have to hit me? Why you gotta break my heart, but what did I do to you? Now you want me to pet you? Fine. Yeah. It's like I'm wrapped around his, his finger. Whoa! 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 All right, now I need to get back to, to sculpting. All right? Oh! Why? What did I do to you? All I've done is give you all my love, and you treat me like this. Oh! Uh, why? Must you mistreat me? <laughs> And here she is. I'm a little skeptical. I think the paint job is going to be really important. Hopefully I don't mess it up because I have a tendency to do that. So you know what that means? We have to wait six hours for it to dry. So let's put our hands together and pray to the drying gods. Dear drying gods of evermore, please protect my piece from cracks, fallen limbs, and ugliness. And also, stop breaking my stuff the next day. So here we are the next day. Let's see what the drying gods have done. So it appears that it is in one piece. So far, so good. Now the question is, is the dress going to break once we try to remove it? I don't know, my guess is as good as yours. And the answer is... No. And we can go ahead and remove the floofiness. And she stands on her own. All right, now it's going to be time to color, well, co paint. Paint is the word I was looking for. I never said that my vocabulary was great, but you knew what I meant. What? Don't pretend you didn't know what I meant, because if you pretend that you didn't know what I meant, then you're just trolling me. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. 
Now when it comes to painting, I am I'm really debating if I want to use airbrushing or acrylic paints or I feel like a combination of both obviously makes sense, but in order to get a really cool glossy type effect, kind of like with this pony here, airbrushing really elevates the level. So I'm going to Applejack, but I definitely also want to give Applejack a little bit more color because she's quite flat at this time. So I did take out a bit of a yellow orange. You know what that means? Time to get a paint to get painting is what I was trying to say but you know what just stop okay let, let me just stop Englishing for now please and yes your eyes don't deceive you that's me in the metal part <laughs> can you see I'm not wearing my hat so in order to protect Applejack, I went ahead and put tape where I didn't want the airbrush to touch once I had those parts taped off it was let's go ahead Well, looking at pictures of Cinderella online, there seems to be two different types of dress colors. There's the one with blue and a lighter blue, and then there's the white type version. Because Applejack is orange, I really want to stick with the blue color just because it's going to, you know, pop out a lot more. Plus, we're not marrying Applejack off, so we don't need white for now. Alright, before we continue on with the hair and tiara, we're going to put her aside and we're going to work on the resin components. For that, for those of you looking to get into resin crafting, and if you're really not sure about a subscription box, why not check out the Sophie and Toffee Beginners Starter Set Resin Kit. In the resin starter kit, you're going to get two part epoxy resin, silicone mat, silicone tools, silicone mixing cups in large. And these cups are absolutely wonderful because resin can harden inside and all you have to do is peel it so you are not making extra waste. At least this way we're doing our part for the environment. Smaller silicone cups, pipettes, tinier mixing tools, a UV light, a bunch of finger protectors to keep your fingers clean, a storage making mold, more mixing tools, a cute little palette for when you need only tiny bits of resin, the pièce de résistance. A Dremel tool. I've never used this before, so I'm super excited to try it on future projects. Hand Dremel set and backing tape. This box really has all you need in terms of the tools to work with resin. I really wish something like that was available when I first started. With our Cinderella pony aside, I went ahead and decided to make the mold of the carriage that came in the Disney box. I had no idea how to make it, so I had to look at the Sophie and Toffee Instagram, and I'm definitely not going to make it as elaborate as they did. I just want to be as simple as possible. I'm going to be honest with you grains. I really thought that I was going to go simple with the carriage, but holy moly, I got excited with all the different colors of Perlex powders or mica powders, and I just kind of used them. I kind of used a lot. Army kit. Definitely budget a couple of hours to make this carriage. For the thicker pieces, I used the two-part epoxy resin. And the moment of truth. Oh no! No! I knew I should have filled this up more. That's okay, we'll fix it. Let's just be gentle everywhere else. Oh, that is pretty. And an air bubble. Dang that it! Now we know to be gentle. I probably didn't, yeah, I did not fill this enough. <laughs> Ooh. So now basically to put the hinges on, I think I'm supposed to put the circle part underneath one of the wings and then put resin onto the thicker piece. Once our little carriage was done, it was time to tackle the hair, which is something I definitely lack skills in. I don't know what kind of hair this is, so I definitely need more information. Please, Grains, help educate me. So I decided to go for a bun, but obviously this is a pretty messy bun, so let's assume that Cinderella Pony actually had a chance to dance. So she should definitely dance tonight. The headband was an issue because it was just too small. Obviously the mold was made for a little doll. And we had a pony. Er, 
me good here is our Cinderella my little pony inspired by Sophie and Toffee's Cinderella Disney box Remember, if you want more information on the Disney subscription box, I will leave it down below. There are quite a few things I would have loved to fix on this pony, but I think for the first time making a dress on a pony, I'll take it. It's not my favorite. I still think the steampunk one from the previous video is my favorite. Again, I will not show any kind of end results, but let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Thank you again to Sophie and Toffee for sponsoring this video. If you want to watch the previous My Little Pony customization, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just delicious for you, make sure you check down here. This week's shoutouts go to Grains that have actually redrawn some of my ponies. Moth Scribbles, Error Emma, Twilarts, Twilarts Twice, and Pixel Ghost Hollow. Happy 15 year anniversary to Robin Val. Until then, I will see you Grains in the next video.